Ice gem. Stupid. Steam, I don't want you to be front and center right now. What part of that? What part of me constantly clicking off of you do you not understand? If that had broken my Shamshire, that would have been just insane. Okay, taking this so water doesn't fall as fast and stuff. Endurance plus two, that's good, that's good, that's good. Soap, that's lame. And uh, yeah, unlike Dark Chronicle, we can't just go to the store and buy a character a new weapon. This thing has. Oh, sorry, that thing has like terrible range. Well, that was not worth it. Gosh, maybe it's. Yeah, maybe in, the, like, the later dungeons, you get, like, you know, even better stuff. But I'm just, like, going in and finding, like, a bunch of gems and whatnot. <sighs> yeah, can I get a special ability on a weapon that makes it so... It just, like, regenerates its own uh, durability over time? That would be cool. Okay, thanks. Three out of four, so twenty-three. Twenty-eight. You can do this. Let this Gladius break. Trying to let it break. I need to go buy like a dozen repair powder right now. Do I want to go all the way over there just for two extra chests? No. I have this, I am going. See, so like, if this was a casual playthrough, I could just leave the dungeon, buy a bunch of repair powders, keep going. Heck, if this was a casual playthrough, I wouldn't necessarily be going right all the way through the dungeon again. Maybe. Zio does deserve a nice weapon.
What's with all of this? Just, like, all over the place. Yeah, this thing's going to get its uh, all of exp experience it needs eventually. Even if you block, you still take 20 damage. What a rip. What's the purpose of blocking? working on it. Just keep going with it. Each one of these is another, like, five or so. Also, soap! Feeling kind of gooey, just use some soap and that fixes you right up. Source? Trust me, I'm a doctor, apparently. Alright, did not get the key yet. No water on this floor. It's a tone weapon. Oh my gosh! Bone slingshot! Dan it dan down! Attack endurance and speed all need to go up. So it's beast, sky, and mage. So attack endurance and speed need to go up. So customize. Throw this in. No, do not need does not need magic. All right, beast, sky, and mage. Oh, I see another giant chest. Let's see the giant mimic. We have a couple of these. Oh, 
I was there. There I was, spamming the attack button, and the character did not attack even once. Sasha's weapon can't carry anymore. Okay, well, I'll show you what I can't carry anymore. Eight. Alright, what am I getting? Christ knife. Fully attack, 12 attack. It's not stronger than a sham shi'ai. I think this is what a gladius builds up into, then this can build up into a sham shi'ai. Still a nice and useful weapon though. Yes, we got this. <laughs> yeah, health isn't so much an issue because there's so much, like, in dungeon healing. Okay, one last floor, and then it's the boss. Whatever this floor has, it had better have a pool near the exit. That's more important than, like, any other features it might or might not have. No, no, no. Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. I want to use the brand new Christ knife. Christ. Cool, let's throw in a use of the bone rapier. All to go back to the Shamshire plus three. All right, what do we have that has durability? We have a Shamshire and a Gladius. No, wrong button. This thing should have plenty of experience, right? It had like four EXP points. <sighs> After this giant fight, I am buying like literally a dozen repair powder. Yeah, spoiler alert, the fights against Dran. Oh my gosh. Well, no, Drat. Well, I'm gonna hope that it's not in it either of those two, and hope that it. Oh, can't wait. No, no, we still have like three more feathers. This is our third feather use for the dungeon, right? It's only been a bit over an hour. Technically speaking, I could use the broken slingshot to attack and kill all of these big mean en enemies.
Let's just give her one little bit of bread, though, just, just in case, right? Slightly lower defense means that she should be taking 33 and... Okay, she'll be taking 23, so didn't necessarily need to give her the bread already, but... Oh, well. And then, yeah, it's just a matter of doing this. And just chip damaging all the way through until we can defeat a dragon with a broken slingshot. Well, well, Mr. Goliath, how do you feel today? <laughs> Have you met my little friend, David? Not too much now. Okay. Can you beat the game with a broken weapon? Is yeah only using broken uh, weapons? It has a similar feel to a can you beat the game with uh, without repair powder thing, and that it's not exactly like an exciting challenge because it's a lot of this. And it's like yeah, surely it's possible. It just takes for bloody ever. Whereas minimum dungeon entry is a different sort of endurance challenge. Where I... Oh cool. We're doing stuff like that is part of the challenge, but it's not a core component part of the challenge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just want to double check stuff. So. Oh, discard with right directional. Okay, that's what it means. Yeah, looking forward to the point where I can have weapons that I put like, you know, hours and hours of time into and then just just one little instant, one little mishap is all that's required, and the weapon is gone forever. How fun. Alright, time to fight the boss, however. Let's do this. If I mess this up, I have to do that whole hour's worth of stuff again, keeping none of this uh, content or time. Okay, I want to mostly try to use Slingshot and Bombs for the primary set of attacks. It has literally been years since I've done this boss fight. I do remember, though. So the giant's being manipulated. There's no choice but to fight him. Use your power to break the spell. Divine Beast Dran. Oh wait, actually, now that I think about it. That's only 10 damage. Weapon, let's go to the non-broken sham shears. Let's see if this does more than 10. Oh, 
They all suggest like, hey, get bombs. Bombs would be useful. Use the bombs. And then... I wish I could see its health bar, but, you know, camera doesn't go that high. I mean, if the health bar is, like, 100, then I'm already, like, at least 50 damage in. something else happening in this fight. Did I get it in a loop? Oh god, both of these slingshots are only one damage. Give yourself some stamina. At least you took less damage. Boom. I wonder if Jan has anything in common with the big furry dog-like uh, ally character from the uh, Tomba games. Okay, so apparently you have to hit him with the slingshot to get him to, like, get down to the ground. And then you can just keep hitting him. Okay, apparently that only does one damage, so... Back to you, I guess. How much health does this boss have? Because, like, at this rate, it feels... almost inevitable. As long as I don't, you know, wind up getting hit by anything... unfavorable like that apparently that didn't do anything oh I get it it, it has a special uh, air attack that it does 
it has a special air attack it does to destroy the ground. But if you don't let it be in the air, it can't do that attack. Okay, she's down, but... Use the standing power powder we got. Near death. Ooh. Creepy. Not making round. Oh, interesting. You can't take damage from it when you're in stamina state? That's weird. Come on. All you have to do is hit it when it's in the air. You come back down. Knock it back up into the air. We have to have done, like, a bunch of damage to it, right? There isn't basically anything with a good attack that still has much durability left. If the Gladys only does one damage... And it's like... Just a nice little battle of attrition. Except we don't have any of the things that I like to have during, you know, battles of attrition. weapon. And it's like, well, I mean, at this point, might as well just either start breaking weapons on the beastie's hide, which doesn't sound like such a good idea, or else... Just go back and do this for, you know, the next good long while. It's like, okay. Oh no.
Just keep doing this. Over and over again. Just keep working on this. Boom. And run. And it'll go over there and do that thing and kind of pause for a little bit. Then you just go boom and just run. Now go over there and do the little thing. You just go boom and you just run. Now go over there and you just kind of go boom and you just run. And this is... We did it! It probably has like, what, 200 health? Yeah, just 20 bombs. Boop, 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 boop. See, that's being manipulated. I ran the god of the beast. What an embarrassment. Sorry about that, kid. So, yeah. Only all the known kingdoms of the world, ultimately only a few people survive. And when all seemed lost, a tribe called the Moon People created an enormous urn that could seal tremendous magic power and trap the dark genie inside. The world recovered and peace was restored. The world was saved by the Moon People and their mastery of the magical arts. That's about all I know. Don't go after the dark genie. You better have the Moon People on your side. If the Moon People live quietly deep in the woods in a place located beyond the... Matataki Village. Matataki Village is just south of the Knowing Village. Why not go there first? Oh, the fairy king who... Uh, oh, that the fairy king, comma, who never liked humans, comma, gave a kid like you the power of that stone. He's got something up. Well, you can use some fresh air for a change. Hop on my back, give you a lift outside. Honestly, I was starting to get concerned that it just had so much health that I'd be here for another couple hours. But yeah, three dungeons entered. And that's it. Appreciate your work, kid. Don't have a clue just how powerful this genie is, but it was powerful enough to control me. Be prepared and take this with you. World map. It's no plain world map, kid. It's a magic map that takes you to the place you point to instantly. Use this map to get to the Matataki village. <laughs> the moon people live deep in the wise owl forest. Once you reach Matataki, first thing, visit Great Trent. Follow the river and you'll find it. You might look a bit weird, but he takes good care of people. It's sure to give you a hand. So long. One hundred percent, uh, drama complete. Oh, I see a chest. Old man Simba? What? The windmill slash! So now you can do that attack. That's the attack I was wanting to do earlier. Powerful charge skill that causes damage to all enemies near you. Charge with O button and release it after you flash two times. Be careful though, you step. Weapon HP very fast. It's just me or does durability in uh, Dark Cloud 2 weapons just also last longer? I have to try it. That was weird. Okay, whatever, anyway. A 
let's see, do I want to start selling all of the bait stuff? Because if I can fish and fish, you know, well, you know what? No. Yes, I mean, yes, I want to exchange all of the fishing stuff. Because I don't have the money for, like, buying extra bait. I need to sell this as much as possible. Sell that as well. Still don't need all of this water. Oh, gosh, we wound up with so little supplies. So yeah, I want to build up the kitchen knife to be a uh, plus five. So I can throw it onto my Shamshir, which is probably going to be Sashin's main weapon. And hopefully get the quench thing. And hopefully quench means that, you know, thirst doesn't run out as fast as normal. You're on that last one, but this is still open still. Set as an active item, auto pairs weapons that are about to break. Tempted to buy this stuff, but shouldn't buy it. I know that there's something in one of these houses. There's a thingy right in front of one of them. I saw it. Is it this house? I saw one of those little orange boxes. Oh, I think it might have just been that little urn. No extra chests for completing that. I guess also people could have chests uh, inside the houses. And I should probably check for all of that as well. But I don't want to. Checking outside the houses is fast and easy and all that stuff. Alright. Back to the gaffer's buggy. Is this door open? Buy this. Okay. Kind of want an extra auto repair. No. Kind of just want to buy a bunch more of this. So, 10 repair powders. Now, I know this first dungeon as well as I do. I don't know the second dungeon that well. Oh, right. We need... Literally one away from that. Oh, we don't have any uh, extra stamina. I thought that we'd be able to get those. Whoops. Okay, let's just buy that. Yeah, weapons. Weapons sell for kind of arbitrary amounts. Yeah, if you get the 100% requirements, whatever, of stuff, you can get something special. Check in some items. Second bullion. As for the rest of the stuff, I say keep it. A lot of uh, powders, some trans feathers. 
I already have an active of that. Set that as an active there. And everything will be fine. Hey, you need a bit of water. You'll be fine. Could have prepared, but it's fine. Go instead of saying go to dungeon, let's go to other area. We do not have to go to the Divine Beast Cave anymore. So let's go to the Matataki Village and do all the stuff out here. Now, I don't remember this area quite as much. I spent a lot of time in No Room Village as a kid. Did not spend nearly as much time in here. I remember the general idea, though. There's a lot more area to build in. And there's this guy. I think there's something about his father went into the woods one day and never came back and now he's kind of like shy, blah, blah, blah. And here's the river that's supposed to be going all the way across. Up here is where we are supposed to be able to catch like a special rare fish at a certain time of day if we use like poison apple. This is another fishing pond over, over here. Uh, but it needs water and I think, I think we can fill it up, I'm not sure. Yeah, here's river sections because we can't place over here, so yeah. We have to just bring the river all the way down. There's this little area here. Adventure Day 5, night. Another town that got, you know, wiped out in the same night as No Rune Village. This guy jumps down. Ah, who are you? Must be with that monster that ruined the village. I know I'm right. You can't lie to me, that face of yours. It's a villain's face. Get ready, the herd is coming. Enough already. Ah! Oh, shoot. I should have saved. Boing, 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 boing. What's the point of the ladder if you don't really even use it? Okay, in my defense, I completely just misread that thing. I completely misread it. I thought it was downtown, but it was down up, so that was why I messed up. Wait a sec, wait a second. Is there loot in here I can steal? Yes. Oh my gosh, I got a pocket. Wait, where's my pocket? Here's my pocket. <laughs> Toss it in the trash. Can now carry 70 items. Apparently it's possible to uh, glitch and get like an extra pocket. So you can just get like an arbitrary number of items, but I think it crashes if you go by behind, I don't know, what, 200, 400, 999? Something, it will glitch and crash like eventually. If, if I could, ugh. He said that he'd take me on any time. If I have to go and redo that entire dungeon again, just to be able to fight him again. This is gonna suck. Okay, I saved. Good, come back. Reset the stuff.
Diagonal. Do I get a special item for this? No, I do not. I think I'm going to try to reload my save. But if you do that, you get this item. My name is, and then you get to. <laughs> my name is Groot. Uh, uh, you know what? Screw it. There. Anyway. It's a joke because he uses a hammer. Hunter's earring acquired. Okay, yeah, yeah. We have to do this and have to get this thing. Uh, however... I'm gonna go and try to get the good... Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh... Okay, it's like down up and it's like circle or something. Excellent. There we go. From the Terra Fairies, we got a Sapphire. Oh, right. We have to rename him again. You know what? This works better. Axel. So I think we need to get this hunter's earring uh, for a quest thing that's happening like right away here. Wait a second. Can we, oh. oh. We- oh, what? That's weird. We can't- oh. We can't go into his house unless we lose to him. We have to lose to him, then we can go into his house. Otherwise, he'll block us from going up there. It was like a weird thing that happens because like if because now if we try to go up to this he'll just jump down block the way but because he's supposed to okay because he is supposed to leave after you lose to him you have to lose in order to go up get the ear uh, get the pocket otherwise you just can't get it so you have to lose to him if you want the pocket as early as possible. And then you can find him again and potentially then get the uh, sapphire. Hi, Cinnamon. Her current state is helpless without water. It has a tree fairy that controls the water element. Without water, it seems like speaking is difficult for it. You on your own must connect the river that was cut off here at the village to revive Trent. Trent will then surely aid you in your quest. This is the village which I saved with Atla. The village could be revived if the Atla could be found. The Atla are probably scattered around the Wise Owl Forest. You can enter the forest by opening Matataki's gate. Here I am. I'll open the gate for you. Go and see what you can find. Listen, 
Make the river your priority. Connect the river to save Trent. So that's our priority to begin with. We have to get enough river atlamelias, or you know, whatever, river atlas to save him. And then, a couple of short episodes here. Yeah, and then next time, yeah, between episodes, I'm going to go back, get the pocket, and then basically just come back here, save again. So next time, we're going into the Wise Owl Forest. Should be fun. The monsters are a lot more dangerous than I. Uh, although I do remember being able to get lots of different types of slingshots here. Especially one... Shut up! 